Hello, welcome to Reset Coder. In this third part of this Android tutorial series in which we are making a Firebase chat app in Firestore, you are going to learn how to show a list of all people which are using our app. The first thing that we are gonna do is to add a library into our dependencies which enables us to use a simple recycler view. As you may know, recycler views can be pretty scary and pretty hard to implement, especially if you have multiple view types and you also have to write your own view holders and all of that stuff. Thankfully, there is a library called Groupie which handles all of the tough stuff for us. So let's add Groupie into dependencies by doing this. And you can get the code from the link in the video description if you want to. And also for Groupie to work properly, we need to enable experimental status for Android extensions. So here we go. I also have a separate tutorial on Groupie, so if you want to learn about it more in depth, you can check out this tutorial by clicking on the card in the corner. However, I am going to briefly explain everything even in this video. Also, you can see that the background of these implementations is changed. That's because there is a new version available. So when we click on one of these things and hit Alt Enter, we can change it to 12.0.0, which is currently the most up to date version. And let's do it for all of these plugins. And now let's press sync now in the corner. And we are getting an error because we have conflicting versions. You probably cannot read it on YouTube, but I can. We have a conflicting version with Play Services Auth because that is 11.8.0 and this is 12.0.0. If you get something like this, just copy the library, which it uh, shows here that has the wrong version. So control C. All right. And now let's implement it with the right version. So let's write implementation and paste it in here and let's change it to 12.0.0 and now let's sync again and hopefully the error will be gone. This error happens because some of these libraries implements an older version of Play Services Auth. However, when you explicitly implement it yourself, you are going to change its version because the older version is ignored actually. Now let's get into the good stuff. As a first thing, let's go to app java the first package and fragment and let's open up my account fragment which we've created in the last video and one of you guys nicely suggested that we should show a toast when we are saving data so inside button save listener we are gonna display a toast by using anco library so just write toast and it's going to say saving and this is all that we need to do in my account fragment now this tutorial is centered around displaying a list of users a list is comprised of individual items, so let's create an item person and let's create the layout first. So go to res, layout and right click. We want to create a new layout resource file, item person and OK. And I again don't want to bore you with writing the layout. We have a car view over here from a support library. Its width is set to match parent and its height is 70 dp. Then it has foreground set to this selectable item background so that we get this nice material ripple effect. Then we have a relative layout which holds an image view which will hold the image profile picture. This is its ID. And then we have two text views. One is for name and the another one is for bio. Now, normally when you are using a recycler view, you create a view holder. Groupie is a lot simpler. We are gonna write an item. So let's create a new package, right click, new package, recycler view. And inside recycler view package, let's create another package, item. And inside item, let's create person item class. This is the class which holds data and communicates with this item person layout. Also, this person item will be passed into a groupies adapter for a recycler view. This class needs to keep track of person which will be of type user and it's the user which we have created in the previous part then val user id which is the id from firebase auth and it also needs to keep a reference to a context so private val context it inherits from item from comda xray groupie kotlin android extensions and item is an abstract class we need to implement its members so alt enter and implement all members Getting the layout is a simple stuff because we've just created the layout and its name is item person. So R dot layout dot item person. And inside bind, we are going to bind this person user to the layout. 
you can see that there is a view holder passed into this bind function. So we are going to use it by writing view holder. And now we can get text view name straight from this view holder. This is possible because when we go to the build gradle, which we've edited at the beginning of this tutorial, you can see all the way down that we've enabled experimental for Android extensions. When we go back to person item, select this view holder class and press control B. We are taken inside the source code for groupie and you can see that the class view holder implements a layout container. And because we've enabled experimental for Android extensions, we can get views straight from this layout container. All right, now let's go back to person item. You don't really need to understand it, but I think that it's pretty cool. Now from this text view, we want to get the text property and set it to person.name. We want to do similarly with text view bio. So set it to person.bio and then if person profile picture path doesn't equal null, we want to load a profile picture inside the image view. So again, let's write glide app with the context which is passed into this person item and then we want to load person which is of type user contains a profile picture path we need to convert it to cloud storage reference so let's write storage util path to reference and we want to convert person profile picture path then we also want to show a placeholder until the real profile picture is loaded and we want to load this picture into viewholder dot image view profile picture all right, if you remember inside the main activity, we have a tab for people and then a tab for my account. We already have the my account fragment, so now it's time to create the people fragment. So right click on fragment, create a new fragment, and we wanna create a blank fragment. Don't include fragment factory methods nor interface callbacks, and its name will be people fragment. And finish. I will make an exception and bore you with creating the layout. Let's delete this text view and instead write recycler view. Its width and height will be match parent and it also needs to have an ID which will be recycler view people. And that's it. Now let's get into the class. Delete all of these comments. Inside people fragment we need to keep track of private late init var, user listener registration, of type listener registration. This is for remembering the Firestore listener when we want to remove it later. And what is a Firestore listener you are asking? I will show you right now. Let's go to util and then Firestore util. And for example, here is a method for getting current user. Here we are calling a get method on current user docref. Instead of calling get, we can also set a listener on this docref. And whenever the value inside this document changes, it's going to automatically get the new document. So inside people fragment, we are going to be using a listener because whenever someone creates a new account, the user will be added to the list of all people. And we always want to have up to date list of people. That's why we are using a listener instead of a simple getter inside Firestore. Now let's actually go to Firestore util and we have an error up here. Here we are getting Firebase auth get instance and then UID. However, in the new version, which we've changed at the beginning of this tutorial, the version 12, there is a breaking change. We cannot get UID straight away. We need to call current user and then UID. Otherwise, everything stays the same, but we also have this problem inside storage util. So also here, we want to get current user and then UID. And that's it. Now inside Firestore Util, we want to add a function add users listener, which will accept a context and also an on listen higher order function, which will accept a list of items. Item is the base class of person item, which we have just created and it's going to return unit and the whole add users listener function will return a listener registration. So we want to return Firestore instance collection users because when we are initializing a new user, we are setting the current user docref and the current user docref is located under users right here. And on all the users, we want to add a snapshot listener from which we get a query snapshot and an exception. And if Firebase Firestore exception doesn't equal null, we want to lock an error with tag Firestore and you should be using a constant string, but hey, this is a tutorial and the message will be user listener error and for the throwable, we want to pass Firebase Firestore exception. Put this if statement inside braces. 
and then we want to return at add snapshot listener. If there is no exception, we want to create a mutable list of items. So val items equals mutable list of item. And then we want to get documents from query snapshot. So query snapshot dot documents and for each document. And now even the currently signed in user is inside the collection of all users. However, we obviously don't want to show the currently signed in user to himself. So we need to filter the current user. So if it dot ID and it is a document snapshot doesn't equal Firebase auth get instance current user UID. We want to add a new person item to all items. So items dot add a new person item, we are going to get the user class by calling it, which is the document snapshot to object of type user. So class .java. then user ID can be gotten by calling it, which is the document snapshot dot ID, because documents inside the collection of all users have their names identical to Firebase auth IDs. And then we want to pass in context. And finally, let's call on listen after we have the items and let's pass in these items. And now the last function inside Firestore Util, fun remove listener, which will accept a registration of type listen registration. And we want to simply call registration dot remove. All right, now let's get to people fragment. So we already have the registration. Let's also keep track of should init recycler view, which will be a Boolean and it will be equal to true by default. Then the groupy library, which we are using for creating the recycler view, organizes all items into section. This recycler view will have only a one section and it will be called people section. So let's create private late init var people section of type section. And again, check out my tutorial on groupy if you want to learn more. Then inside uncreate view, we want to set user listener registration to be equal to Firestore Util, add users listener, the context will be this. And since this is a fragment, we want to get activity and we can be sure that it is not null. And then we also have to pass the on listen higher order function. We could pass in a Lambda like this and write stuff in here, but we are going to do it in another way. Let's write private fun, update recycler view, and it will accept items of type list of items from the correct library. And for now, let's leave it and inside add users listener call, we are going to pass this to columns and update recycler view. Awesome. Now let's overwrite on the destroy view. Here we want to simply remove the listener. So Firestore Util remove listener and let's pass in the listener. So user listener registration. And we also want to set shoot in it recycler view to be true because after the view is destroyed, we need to reinitialize the recycler view. And now let's actually get to update recycler view. This function will contain two nested functions, fun init and also fun update items. And now if shoot init recycler view is true, we are going to initialize the recycler view. Otherwise, we are going to just update items. When we are initializing, we want to write recycler view people, which is the view from fragment people layout. And on this recycler view, we want to apply its layout manager will be linear layout manager. And we are going to pass in a context from this at people fragment dot context. And then adapter will be equal to a new group adapter from groupy with generic parameter of simply view holder. And the view holder needs to be from the correct library. And on this group adapter, we want to apply. First, we are going to set this people section, which we have created here to be equal to a new section. So let's write people section is equal to new section. And this section will contain all of the items from the beginning. And now we want to add this people section to the group adapter. So add people section because section is the actual thing which holds these items, not the group adapter itself. The group adapter just holds the section. In the next parts, we are also going to set an item click listener and we are going to go from that. But in this tutorial, the last thing that we want to do here is to set shoot in recycler view to be false right here. Now we are almost done. Let's get to main activity and inside on create under is navigation people. We want to show people fragment. So let's write replace fragment people fragment. And also this replace fragment method is just horrible. I frankly don't understand what I did in the previous tutorial, but let's delete all of this. Let's copy this replace, delete this apply block, and we can actually chain these calls. So let's write replace. And then straight after that, we can write comment 
and we don't need to suppress any linting or anything like that. Now let's test if it works. And here we are. Now I am the only person using this app currently, so there is nothing to show here in the people fragment. Oh, and we need to update Google Play services, so let's do that. This is interesting. All right, so now it actually works. It automatically got us into fire message. But still, there are no people in the people fragment. What I need to do is to sign out from my account and sign in with another account. And when I sign in with another account, there is nothing happening unless I click on the fragment people here on this tab. That's because inside the main activity, we need to replace fragment people fragment right after we set content view. So basically we want to create a default fragment. Now let's run it again. And surely now it does work. And also hello Ridvan, because this is some account which I don't know who it is. I didn't create it, so hello, if you are watching this tutorial. But Ridvan, you should really use your own Firestore database and not mine. And also we can test if the toast is displaying, so my bio will be set to hello. And click save. And we have a toast, which is nice. So and that's it for this tutorial. If you want to get the code, click on the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. If this tutorial helped you with displaying a list of users, give this video a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you aren't gonna miss any of my new videos. If you have any suggestions like for example this toast in my account fragment, leave a comment down below, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.